every time I see this whole soft guy era thing, all I can think of is the spirit of Ahab and Jezebel, the land. This is exactly how weak men that don't lead move. They only take action when there's no problem, when it's a clear path and other people have done the hard work and solved their problems for them. And that's what the spirit of Ahab is. Any man that sits back and watches his wife work while he does nothing, spirit of Ahab. Any man that refuses to lead and find solutions to problems, spirit of Ahab. The spirit of Ahab is just a spirit of weakness. And when men fail to lead, bad things happen in the world and in families. This is exactly what caused the fall of man in the garden. Men are supposed to lead. And when they don't, bad things happen. So the Jezebel spirit, that can only exist when men refuse to lead. And that's the only reason the spirit of Jezebel or Jezebel was able to be Jezebel is because there was no authority. There was no leadership. There was nobody to tell her, no, we're not doing this. And this is why this whole soft guy era thing, it's, it's, it's just blasphemy. Feminine women that submit to leadership and masculine men that lead will always be the highest order of God's creation. That's the most divine way we can live. And y'all can say, oh, it's just a joke. It's just a joke, whatever. Every joke has some truth to it. Yeah, this dude is just taking it too far. He just don't get it. When he said the spirit of Ahab, I laughed because what? As a Christian man myself, I'm not going to lie. Do Rich pass the top shelf. The misinformation is crazy to see. The comments on his post were even crazy. The women are eating it up. Bro starts yapping about men being leaders and women being submissive. Not knowing that's the same damn thing we want. But these women see men as tricks and not leaders, buddy. I'm sure a woman can leave buddy in the middle of the desert and tell him it always rains here and bro will believe it. The soft guy era is just a reflection of what these women say to men on a daily basis. It's crazy they go on these long thing pieces and don't address the crazy expectations of these women. Bro got the whole Bible into it. I want this dude to show how Sprinkle Sprinkle is in line with the teachings of the Bible. He wants to talk about Ahab, but disregard the fact that these women are operating with the spirit of Jezebel. He's just cherry picking the Bible just like the women do. Maturing is realizing the soft guy era at its core is about spending your energy on things that matter. He knows his satire. He's just using the panda method to get women. Worst thing a man can do is panda, and to use the Bible to do it is even crazy. But if you want to get rich quick like Derek Jackson, panda to women, because once you tell them what they need to hear, they will give you all their money. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.